Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Mindworks Technologies Limited, Greg Pandura. How are you doing today, Greg? Doing great, Rich. How's yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Excited to have you on the show. Greg, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Mindworks? Sure. Um, Rich, I've, I've been involved in the, the public markets for 30 years. And uh, um, anyway, we'll, uh, one of the companies that I got involved in, basically, it was a chemical technology company, which which evolved to a quite, quite a large company. And uh, d- during that time, uh, I acquired a lot of uh, uh, background knowledge on how to uh, basically plan, uh, grow, and uh, bring the right team in place to make teams successful for for, for companies. Um, after I retired from the uh, uh, this co- uh, chemical technology company, I was on various boards on mining companies and other other kind of companies, and uh, through a, a relationship, uh, I was asked to to take a look at uh, a company called uh, Solid, which now is, is Mineworks, just to uh, evaluate their technology in Spain, their asset in Spain, to see if it could be a value. That's how it started. We sold that property, got some cash, and started to uh, look at how we could use new technology to basically change the whole concept of, tr- of traditional mining. And uh, we evolved from that into a into a processing technology, extracting precious metals. Can you tell us what are some of the milestones Mineworks has set for 2022, which shareholders can look forward to? Yeah, we have a, we'll have a very busy busy 2022. 20, uh, Rich, uh, we've we've just uh, recently moved our pilot plant from uh, Vancouver in Canada to, t- to Tennessee, and. Uh, uh, it, it's a plant which has been designed to pr- process the, the precious metals from diesel catalytic converters. Interesting field. Most people don't understand that, that business probably, but it's a great upside. And uh, so what, what to expect for 2022 is the, is the pilot plant, which is about to get turned on to to do what it's supposed to do in order for us to complete our, our design for our commercial plant, uh, which is sort of underway already. But uh, that commercial plant will be, will be designed for a 10 ton per day operation, uh, which uh, as per our anticipated expectations will ge- generate uh, uh, over $100 million per year in revenue with 20% plus margin. So very, very good business. The last milestone is the separation of ourselves from from our mining interests. Uh, where we'll be uh, establishing a new public company and, and spin out our mining assets. We will rebrand ourselves. Uh, Mineworks will rebrand, will rebrand itself uh, into basically a clean tech, environmentally friendly mineral processing company, and uh, uh, that's. That's going to be exciting for all our shareholders. Can you tell us about the management at Mineworks, especially their past success in the public markets? Uh, sure. Um, our, our CCFO has got uh, many years of uh, public market experience. Uh, my, myself, I got over 30 years in the public market experience. Uh, started off a, a founder of a chemical technology company, uh, 15 year, years ago that uh, evolved to, to the Toronto uh, big board. Uh, uh, since that time, that company actually has sales this year is going to exceed a billion dollars of sales. Wow. So I have to call that a pretty successful uh, operation. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our, our board is, is very strong uh, from a business perspective. A uh, lot of business expertise there, plus public market expertise. So we're, we're definitely well geared to get uh, this company to, to the next level of, uh, of where we want to go. 
Now, the company recently announced that the 100 liter pilot plant has been disassembled, loaded, and been trucked to Tennessee to begin process optimization, the next phase of testing protocols. Can you tell us what this means for Mineworks? Sure. The, the, the process optimization phase is really the last phase of, of what we have to do before we go to the commercial plant route. Uh, it's uh, the plan is re ready to go. Uh, originally, we were going to uh, put that plant within our, our joint venture partners for the facility. Uh, but we've decided since then to have a separate standalone building very close to our joint venture partner, simply because we wanted a larger ongoing R&D facility as we move forward into commercial production. Uh, that's created some, some building permit uh, um, requirements that have taken more time than what we wanted. So the plant's ready to get fired up. We're just waiting for the final stage of permitting to get approved on what we have to do. Uh, so uh, as I said, uh, that pilot plant, uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the idea behind it is to give us the final data to complete our design for the 10 ton per day fac uh, facility. Now, if Mineworks were to compare itself to its competitors in the sector, what would you guys say sets you guys apart? Well, we're, we're in a rather uh, interesting situation here, Rich. Uh, there, there, really, there is, there is no competitors. And uh, what I mean by that, up, up until now, the, the only uh, commercially viable way of extracting precious metals from, from diesel catalytic converters was through smelters. And uh, smelters, as most people in the mining industry are aware, are, are pretty well, they're working at uh, maximum capacity on their carbon uh, uh, limits. Uh, they, they're, they're choosing a, a, what materials they want to uh, process. They're going after the, the top-notch stuff to, to improve their, their margins. And lastly, uh, processing diesel catalytic converters is, is a problem for their whole system. And uh, they've, they've decided to basically st stop accepting diesel catalytic converters. And this has opened up a huge opportunity for us. Uh, we'll, we'll have the only technology uh, and also a environmentally friendly technology which will be able to extract uh, precious metals from diesel catalytic converters in North America. And uh, that, that's what, where the world is going now on carbon credits and environmental issues. Uh, we, we will be uh, looked upon in a very favorable light. Now here at Rich TV Live, we really love to understand the fundamentals of the company. Can you go through the capital structure of Mineworks for our viewers and how you plan on attracting more institutional as, as well as more retail investors? Sure. Um, we, we've got about uh, 330 million outstanding shares, Rich. Uh, uh, about 10% of those are owned by, by insiders. Uh, another 30% at least are owned by people very close to, to the company. So it's a pretty closely held net company. Uh, we're about a 90% retail uh, play right now, 10% institutional. Uh, we believe very strongly that once, once our, our pot of plant is signed off on, uh, we're very quickly going to move from a retail play to an institutional play, and that will make it very beneficial for our shareholders. If there was one thing that you would want shareholders to know about Mineworks today, what would that be? Well, probably the most, the most important thing for, for for people to understand in, in the in the catalytic converter business is that uh, our, our 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 technology, our processing technology, is very unique. It's proprietary, and and, and it does the job. But in in this business, uh, a major major uh, component to become successful is supply chain management. Uh, we we've got a partner, a joint venture partner in ten Tennessee. Uh, Davis Recycling, we've been in the business for 20 plus years. We've got a couple of year relationship with them. They, they know the supply chain management aspect of this business inside out. Everything from uh, purchasing the, the feedstock to, 
to analyzing it, to, to grading it, to, to paying the proper uh, amounts of funds for the feedstock, to inventory, inventory control. All these, all these issues are, are so important to have a successful business in this space. And uh, by us having this joint venture partner, uh, basically the risk is eliminated for, uh, for, for what we have to do. All we have to do is do what we know to do, process this, the, the, the material and the technology that we have, which is proven, and uh, we are gonna have a very successful business. And uh, I think our shareholders are gonna, they're, they're gonna be in for a tremendous ride, Rich. We love to hear that here at Rich TV Live. If there are investors that have questions for the company, what is the best way for those investors to get those questions answered? Uh, we're, we're pretty transparent and we like to talk to investors, Rich. So on our web, uh, website, uh, there's, there's a, a, an information.com, which I will get. I can respond either through email uh, or, or through telephone. We're, we, we like to talk to our shareholder base and we're open to that. Thank you so much for your time today. The CEO of Mindworks Technologies Limited, Greg Pandura. Thank you for joining us today, Greg. Thank you, Rich. Enjoyed being here. It's my pleasure. And I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I do believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. Put Mindworks on your radar, put on your watch list, MWX in Canada, MWXRF in America. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Have a nice day, everybody. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with the CEO of Mindworks Technologies, Greg Pandura, saying, have a nice day. We'll see you guys soon.